Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today we're gonna go through seven things you didn't know you could do with Gmail. You're probably already using Gmail to send email. You might be using it to chat and do some other things, but I'm gonna show you seven tools that's gonna to take your Gmail use to the next level. It's gonna make your business run smoother and allow you to create more deals. So let's hop right into it. The first thing we're gonna talk about is schedule send so occasionally you need to send somebody an email but you maybe you're working some odd hours maybe it's early in the morning or late at night and you don't want to ping their phone and wake them up or bother them so what you can do is schedule the email to go out at a more reasonable time or maybe a time you think it's more likely to pop up and get their attention so i'll show you how to do that here we are in gmail i'm sending this email i'm sending this update about the house but it's late at night, I wanna send it in the morning. So what you do is you just hit this arrow, drop down arrow here, and hit schedule send. It's gonna suggest some things to you. Let's do it eight in the morning, or maybe 1 p.m., some lunchtime. And you can pick a date or time. The other thing you can do here is if you wanna get ahead of things, you can schedule emails to go out and just create a batch of emails to follow up with somebody and then just schedule them for days or months further in the future. So that's kind of a nice feature here in Gmail to just schedule these emails out. Um, so you can just sit down, write a few emails, schedule them for maybe once a week, and then you're done. You're following up with that customer, that client, and you don't have to do anything. Kind of a nice thing. Schedule send. Once you do schedule the send, it's gonna sit here in the scheduled folder. Anytime you wanna hop in there and edit it, pause it, stop it, you can still do that. The next tip I'm gonna show you is how to set up multiple signatures. So signatures in your email are a great opportunity to share things like social media accounts or links to work you've done, links to your review site or your calendar. But you're not always emailing the same type of person. So maybe you're emailing and recruiting some agents or somebody for your business. In that case, it might be nice to have a signature with a join the team page or a LinkedIn page or a calendar that's specially set up for them to make an appointment about joining your team. Or maybe you're emailing a buyer or seller and instead you wanna put in your Calendly link and really highlight, let's get some time, let's talk about this real estate deal you wanna get into. So those are gonna be two different types of signatures with different links and different calls to action. So you can easily do that in Gmail. Once you're in Gmail, you're gonna come over here to settings click on that gear, and then click on see all settings. You're gonna scroll on down here in the general settings to signature. You can see create new. So you're just gonna name it. Let's call this recruiting and create. Cool. And then you're just gonna write out your signature. Go ahead, you can put some images if you want. There's some websites that'll help you craft a really beautiful HTML signature that you can just paste in here with all the links. And you're gonna put a little link to my calendar and then a join the team link. Great, so now I have my recruiting link. I'm gonna create another one. I'm gonna call this sellers. And then I'm just gonna go about the same thing. Create a signature here and then I can add some different links. See my reviews, make an appointment. So once you've created the signatures you want, you're just gonna go to the bottom, hit save changes. And then the next time you're writing an email or responding to an email, you can go ahead and just write it out. At the bottom, you're gonna hit this insert signature, choose the signature you wanna drop in there, and it'll go ahead and pop it in there. That way it's more relevant to the receiver and you don't have to copy and paste, insert all those links every single time. So that's adding multiple signatures to Gmail. This next tip is how you can sync contacts from Gmail right into your CRM. You don't have to copy, paste, do anything like that. Let's say you get an email from a client and you go, this is going well, I wanna put you in my CRM so I can follow up. Easy peasy, let me show you how. What you're gonna do is go to apination.com and you're gonna click on start syncing. There you're gonna see a ton of different apps. You can automate and connect. You're gonna see marketing apps, productivity apps, real estate apps. And what you're looking for here is the Google Contacts app. Google Contacts manages all those contacts from Gmail. So anybody you save as a contact in Gmail is actually getting saved into Google Contacts. 
So what you wanna do here is connect Google Contacts to your CRM or other marketing app. So let's say I wanna send everybody from my Google Contacts, maybe I wanna save them from Gmail and put them in an app like KV Core. I can do that. And I would just follow these prompts to connect KV Core to Google Contacts and set it up so that when I save a contact in Gmail, it automatically sends all the information I've put in my Gmail into KV Core. I don't have to copy, paste, import, export, nothing like that. I don't even have to leave Gmail. I'm just saving these contacts in Gmail. They get added to KV Core. It's a great way to fill up your database and save yourself some time. That's syncing contacts to your CRM from Gmail. So this next one is pretty cool and it has a lot of different uses. It's creating an alias. So, so you already have your email address. In this instance, our email address is api at apination.com. You probably have like agent at realestateagentbusiness.com or you know, marketer at marketingbusiness.com. That's great. Those are all Gmail addresses. An advanced move a lot of people don't know about is those Gmail addresses can be slightly altered, could put a little tag in there, and that creates an alias. So for example, when you're filling out a form or subscribing to a newsletter, instead of writing API at apination.com, this is especially actually useful when you're subscribing to a newsletter, you can add a little tag here, plus order form, and it's still gonna go to api at apination.com, but it's gonna say it was sent to api plus order form at apination.com. So then, you can hop into your Gmail, you can search for API plus order form at apination.com and find all the emails that were sent to the ad address. So how people use this is often they'll use that alias when they're signing up for a newsletter or when you're giving your email address to a business. And this way you can see if that business actually sells your information because you'll start getting email addresses to that alias email that aren't from that business. So it's a great security measure and a great way to keep your email organized. And occasionally you just need an extra email address without actually creating a whole new email account. So it's very convenient in that way. That is creating an alias. This one is one of my favorites, creating a canned response. I love having a canned response to at least get me started on my email. That way I'm not looking at a totally blank page. So canned responses can be used to save a ton of time. The first thing you're gonna do is go over here to this gear again. You're gonna go into see all settings and you're gonna come over here to advanced. There you're gonna see templates. I believe it's now called templates. It's no longer called canned responses. And you're gonna enable it and hit save changes. So that's gonna allow you to use this feature in your Gmail. So once you do that, basically you'll just write out an email I have a test email that says, this is a canned response. And then you're just gonna come on down here to more options, go to templates and say, save this as a template. This is my canned response. So I'm sure you're starting to see kind of the power of this. You can respond to client inquiries. You can have a response set up when you're cold emailing people. It's a great way to save some time and not have to type everything out every single time. So I'm gonna save this tanned response. And then just whenever I want, I can hit compose, come on down here to the three dots, templates, insert my template. There you go, it even puts the subject line in here. Now all I have to do is add a recipient and hit go. That's the canned response. You can save a ton of time and be way more productive. Now we're getting into some new features that really very few people have tried out or even used, but they're available to everybody. This one's called using a layout. So you may notice some changes in Gmail, including two new buttons. So I'm gonna hit compose. I'm gonna come on down here and there's this little graph guy. If you click on that, you can now use professional layouts. So you can use something with bold images and even buttons. Just choose the layout that's gonna work best for you. I like this call to action, very simple, very clean. I'm gonna insert it. And then you just go through, put in your image, put in your logo, set up your call to action. You're gonna change the link so that it goes where you want, and then you can send it out. You're gonna send a beautiful email through Gmail. You don't have to sign up for another service or anything like that. You're already using Gmail. 
why not just send your newsletters through there? And don't forget, you can save this as a template and then you can just send this beautiful email to a lot of different people. So that is the new layouts feature. Our last tip here is sending a newsletter. Gmail is built for one-to-one -one communications or occasionally one-to-many if you CC a bunch of people or BCC a lot of people, but it's not really built to send it to a thousand people say. Usually other apps are built for that, but Gmail is starting to offer tools that let you do that. Let me show you. So uh, similar to that new layout feature, if you come over here to compose, and then right next to that is multi-send mode. So I can click that and turn it on. And now I can drop a ton of different email addresses in here, and it's gonna send one email to each of those people. It's not gonna send one email with everybody on the same email chain. Everybody in here during multi-send mode is gonna get their own individual email and conversation with you. And you don't have to copy all those email addresses in there. If you've already set up all your contacts in Google Contacts and created, let's say I've created a label here and added some people, you can see I have a buyer label and I have three people in there. I don't have to add each of those three people. I can just come in here, type buyer, and there's those three members. It's gonna paste them all in there. Super helpful. You can do this with a ton of different people all under the same label. So you can have buyers, sellers, you can put everybody in your company under a special label, and then you can send out this multi-send to everybody in your company. It's awesome. It's a great new expanse of Gmail's power. So you can get a lot more things done in this app. So that's it. Those are the seven things you can do with Gmail that you didn't know you could do. I hope these save you a ton of time. If you found this useful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the API Nation YouTube page. We put out videos about how to use tech more effectively for businesses, how to automate stuff and create more deals. So those seven things again were schedule send, set up multiple signatures, sync contacts through apination.com, set up an alias, create a canned response or a template, send out beautiful emails using the new layout feature and send out a ton of emails to different people using the new multi-send mode. If you have any questions about this or want any help setting up your API Nation syncs, shoot us an email, give us a phone call. We're API Nation and we are connecting the world's applications.